In this video I'm going to show you how to make a cheap but effective front sway bar for the Traxxas Slash. If you look closely, I made a jig out of plywood, a couple of screws. Um, for this video, I'm going to use a coat hanger. I highly recommend that you do not use a coat hanger on the Slash. The metal that the coat hanger is made out of bends very easily and it and it will uh, flex horribly it just won't work it won't uh, give you the uh, resistance that you need to keep the truck stable um, go to your hobby shop get yourself some tempered steel rod uh, the thickness is up to you depending on how much how stiff you want the suspension this is the front that I made. Well, if you can see it, this is how it would be installed in the front of the truck. Okay. Okay, now onto the jig. Screws are set at exactly 11 centimeters apart from each other. Okay. 13 centimeters is point to point. See that? Three centimeters is the actual length of the rod. Okay? Pretty straightforward. Take the rod that you're going to use. Again, this is coat hanger, strictly for an example and for speed. You want it at least 10 inches. The one I'm using is 15. Don't worry about the length. It's got to be a minimum of 10. But anything over that, don't worry about. You'll cut it as we go along. Okay, you can see in the video, I bent the rod around the posts that I created at 11 centimeters. Again, here's the template. Here's what I'm using on the truck pretty much the same angle. Remember, you can't make a mistake if you don't get it right on the first shot. You can always play with it. Again, the reason why I'm using coat hanger to show you in this demonstration, the tempered steel takes quite a bit of force to get it to bend like that. Okay, on to the next step. We're now going to create this bend right here okay you'll see right here three centimeters and then we're going to create a new bend now you see in the video it almost looks like the rod is disconnected but actually what I've done is again the way I showed you how I built the template once you bend it around the screws and you get the angle right it's nothing more than bend it forward Okay. See the way I did it. Apologize for the video if it's a little screwed up. I'm trying to do this in a hurry for you guys before the holidays. Okay, and again, here's the template. Pretty much the same thing. Okay, now the distance is the thickness of the wood. I don't know if you can see that. Okay. Now we trim it. Okay, the bend I've created is one and a half centimeters. You'll see from my example. Okay. One and a half centimeters. Now it's just a matter of sorry guys, let me get this orientation right. Now it's just a matter of trimming it. Okay, this part's very critical. Again, your best friend is a lineman pliers to do this. Okay, you notice that's probably about one centimeter. I'm kind of long. I just just make it. You're gonna have to make the adjustment yourself and see how long you need to or how short it needs to be. When you go to ahead and install it, you see it sticking out the other end naturally take it out and and then snip it okay 
basically have done this so many times I can do it by eye. Okay. Okay, and there you go. We got a front stabilizer bar. Let's see how it fits. Okay, taking the front wheels off the truck. I haven't made any changes. It's exactly the way I just trimmed it. And let's see if we can get it to fit. It takes a little doing, but it goes right in. Okay. Now, depending on where I use the outer holes on the lower on the A arms for the shock, so the stabilizer, sway bar, whatever you want to call it, goes in the inner holes. Perfect fit. Okay, now the trick to this is, it has to move freely up and down, it rotates like this, it twists, okay, but it needs to have pressure, otherwise it'll just pop right out of the arm. And that pressure, we're going to use tie wraps. I'm going to use these crappy little tie wraps just to give you an idea of how to mount it. Okay, I highly don't. I highly recommend you use the heavy, thick ones, the ones I showed you in my original video. Okay, these are way too small. These will snap. Again, I'm just for demonstration purposes. I'm going to show you how it mounts. This. Okay, I'm just going to put one on, again, strictly for demonstration purposes. Let's see if you can get a better angle with the camera so you can see it. And now, you've got your swipe off. Okay. 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 Put at least two with heavy um, plastic tie wraps, one here and one here. Me personally, I put one on the outside, one on the inside, one over here, and one over here. Your preference. If you're going to take it on and off a lot, one heavy plastic tie wrap right here should be sufficient. Uh, I was using three of them. I kind of bashed the truck a lot. Uh, truck never sees less than five six foot jumps when I do beat it up so I expect that these little guys will snap right off that's why I use the big ones alright let me know what you think of the video I'll get started as soon as I can on the video for the rear sway bar basically the same thing uh, if my dimensions aren't clear in the video let me know in the post and I'll um, and I uh, and I guess I'll uh, post the text of uh, the dimensions again. Hope you enjoyed the video.